Hi learners and welcome to today's video where we are going to be talking about the grade 11 pattern. This is the pat of 2022. So a lot has changed since last year. So let's take a look through this. This is going to be my first um, look through this pat as well. Okay, so this is your pat document. And uh, let's just scroll down and just mention again, as per usual, what the pet is, what you will need in order to complete the pet. And you'll see there's an HTML uh, editor as well. Uh, you can use Notepad, but obviously we're moving to Notepad++. And then they just mentioned the outcomes and focus areas. So phase one, and you can see phase one is out of 32 marks. Phase two is 40 marks. Phase three, 48. Um, and you can see that gives you a total of 120 marks. Okay, so they talk about dishonesty, non-compliance. Read through that, please. It is important. And then let's look at the topic itself. Ah, okay. This is an interesting topic. Drones or drone technology. Now, please, when they give you these links, please go and watch those links because it's going to give you added info that you'd need to complete your pet. So we're talking about drone technology there. They give us some information and here's our task. Your task is to investigate drone technology and determine how drone te technology, sorry, could change or impact your life at a specific focus area. Okay, so um, yeah, they give us the focus question as well. In fact, they give us the word in how could drone technology impact and then you've got to insert your focus area. So they give us a few years to talk about emergency services, security, media, urban. So for example, myself as um, one that creates online content, I would say um, drone technology could change or impact my life in terms of the content I create. So that would be media and communications, you know, maybe taking aerial shots of something, um, you know, aerial uh, videos as well, things like that. Okay, so please, just understand, there's your task, these are the focus areas, and there they even give you your focus question as well. Then they mentioned before you start your pet, they want you to go and watch these videos again, guys, so that you can understand what this is all about. It gives you a good overview of the topic itself. Then some ideas to consider for formulating questions focused on the impact of your life, the area you can choose, you know, types of drones, uses of drones, all of these. So um, do go through that. What's important here is they tell us you could use the following areas to develop your research questions. Remember, we must formulate research questions as well. Okay, so before you do anything else, please go and watch these links, get a good overview of the topic, and then you can move on to the next thing. So let's look at what is needed for phase one. Um, you want to create a suitable folder structure. Again, a main folder, then inside it, a phase one folder, phase two folder, phase three folder. Okay. Um, in phase one, you also want to have a subfolder for the sources. In other words, um, like websites that you visited, if you want to save it, that's where you'd pop that information. Okay. Um, they just mentioned that it's your responsibility to make backup copies of your work, not your teachers. Okay, so that's that's your responsibility. Um, let's go further. Let's go further. Okay, so once we've created our folder structure, a lot of this is going to be similar to um, the normal pets that we did last year. So you can go and check out some of my videos on that um, to help you with things like a cover page. I do have videos on that covering how to create your, your cover page. So they want you to create a document. Document must have a cover page, an automatic table of contents. These, these are the headings that you should have in there as well. Again, I have covered this under, I think, the PAT basics. So go and have a look at that. And then your addendums as well. And then you need to have a focus question. Again, um, this is something I have covered before, even the task definition. So you can see a lot of this is the same. Please, the task definition, um, you need to be answering these questions inside of your task definition. Okay, so when you read the paragraph, it should answer these questions. <clears throat> Sorry, and then uh, they want you also, as usual, to have a table. Now, this is very important. I, I have, again, I've covered this in videos, so please go and have a look at the Pat Basics videos where I deal with this table. 
This table is very important because these questions, and you have to have 10 of them, um, they are research questions, okay? Helping you find more information. So you'll pop the questions in here. They should be on three different categories. So maybe a category of what is a drone? The second one, how are drones used, you know, in real life or things like that. Um, but you need to have at least three categories of questions, the questions themselves. Then the levels. What level is this question at? You know, a level one question is just, is a drone white? And you look at the picture, yes, it is. Okay, you know, like ask it, what color is the wall? And then you give me an answer, you know, pink or whatever it is. A level two question requires more thought. A level three, more thought. A level four, more research as well. The type of source indicate or the answer that you need to indicate there comes from um, where you're going to be getting the answer to this question. Okay, and you need to use something also other than the Internet. I know for most of them, you're probably going to say the Internet and that's fine. But you'll need to use your textbook as well. Um, that's another source and maybe some media articles. You know, you should have, I think, at least three different sources. Um, bibliographical information of that source, the quality of the info that you found at that source, and then a little summary of what you actually found on that particular website or whatever it is. OK, so there they give you a breakdown of everything um, around that table. OK, so there they tell you, you know, three categories. Um, at least 10 questions, so that's fine. And then, as I mentioned, you need to find the sources. So when you provide the bibliographical information, people, this is what it should look like. Okay, now um, you could, what you could do is to actually take this section over here from biblio, in fact, from like type of source, you can leave that there, but you could make another table um, with just this section and this is what they've done here. They've created this table, which basically has that. And the idea is to have at least three. So you want to have information on there. However, please, if you've done it over here, then you don't necessarily need um, to do this. Okay, because you would have already answered all of that over there. So maybe just stick to that. Um, just put all the information in that one big table. I would just change the page to landscape so that you can fit everything in there. And yeah, once you're done with that, I think that's, that is about it. So for phase one, let's just see if they give us um, a list, a checklist. Okay, let me, let me run through the rubric again for having those folders in place, four marks. The focus question, three marks. The task definition of 200 words or half a page, answering those questions, you'll get your four marks. The quality of the questions, right? Are they at three different levels? Do you have 10 questions? Um, are they organized under different headings? Okay. Uh, have you found information on the sources? Do you have different sources? Um, you evaluated the information. You've got a summary. All of that together gives you your 32 marks for phase one okay so please let me just go back up here again before you end in phase one please check that you've got your folder um, you've got your sources in it you've got one word processing document uh, and that you have covered everything again in the pet document here's the rubric guys use it okay to make sure that you have covered all of those aspects okay and that's my first look at the 2022 pet very nice and interesting topic um, and also what you need to get in place for phase one again most of those things i've covered in videos before so do go and check that out on the channel it's there to help you